Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States of America. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a Tuesday, and we're on a little bit, uh, for a couple minutes late. We had a few technical problems. We had to, we had to ferret out. Um, and, uh, oh, uh, uh, look, look who's here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get him uh, in here. There we go. Look who's here. Look, look who's here. That's Phil Meyer. Uh, your your name is too big tonight, Phil. I got to make it smaller. Here we go, and bring it oh. down. Yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. Too, too big right. for my. Yeah, there you go. There too you big go. For my... Yeah, yeah. yeah. You uh, talk to me a little bit. I'm having a few sound problems. All here. right. Uh, the audio uh, set. No, properly? Some, something's wrong. Something's wrong with your audio. Yeah? I don't know what. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I tested it on Zoom before uh, yeah. we started well, the session. It's now it's fine, but it seems to like go in and out a little bit. I don't know what it is, but uh, well, maybe I moved away from the mic. Oh, uh, could be. Uh, yeah, it's a little better. Yeah, yeah. And you could put your right. put your head more in the center of the picture. Let's 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 get this framing right. See, I'm trying to get everything right because the show sucks, and. Uh, you know, well, we, we try to know. make it unsuck as much as it possibly can. Sure. Well, you got 26 viewing at the moment. Uh, really? I know. haven't even looked. You know, I'm I'm giving up on that. In fact, uh, starting tonight, I'm not going to post the show after it's over. <laughs> You're going to punish them, huh? No, I'm not going to put it up on uh, Facebook. I'm not going to put it up on uh, YouTube. Um, uh, it might be up on the uh, – you might be able to get it through the um, – Alex Bennett, uh, you know, the, the Gabnet page, but that's it. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, that's probably going to get you more views, uh, at least more views that you realize because you are in so many places on the Internet mm -hmm. that it probably dilutes the number of people that see any one thing. So if you direct them all to the Gabnet site, uh, I don't know if you can see the how many people have checked in yeah. on, on that site, but. You'll you'll probably get more views for individual yeah, shows. It doesn't matter. I just I, I just figured a hell with it. I mean, the, the the amount of people watching it after the show has gone down considerably enough that I just don't want to go to the trouble of having to post it everywhere. You know? Well, so uh, so I, if you want if you want to hear the show, listen to it when it's broadcast. Right. Right. That's the way it should be. That's, that's, the way it that's should what be. that's what radio is. You yeah. know. Yeah. Unless you had an old wall and sack yeah. and you uh, recorded it, you didn't get to hear that radio show again. You know, how many people out there, when you just said wall and sack, knew what you were talking about? Well, you, with most of your uh, listeners, probably all of them. because Well, know. no, I don't think so. You know, wall and sack was a, a very popular reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder back in the day. And yeah. uh, then when reel-to-reel -reel went out, Nobody came out with the Wollensack cassette machine or the Wollensack CD player or the Wollensack uh, digital recorder. You know, I mean, they, they seemed to die when that was over with. So what the and hell? Mr. Wollensack said, it's going to be real or real or it's going to be nothing. It, nothing at all. Yeah, but the Wollensack was a good little machine. I remember it. Yeah. It looked like it had air conditioning going through. It looked like an air conditioner. It had holes in it, and it was I, yeah. it was a good Big looking button. little machine. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, hey, you know, last uh, the last couple of nights, mm -hmm. there hasn't been much to watch on uh, Netflix or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I watched uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, mm -hmm. and it's years since I saw that program yeah. or that movie. Yeah. And, you know, I, I looked at the people like Danny DeVito and and a lot of those people look like the people on Gabnet. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
know, why watch watch it and yeah. and and check it out. I mean, you 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 can actually put the faces to the people. Now, I don't want to name any individual ones. Mm-hmm. Uh and uh, but you know uh, they know who they are. Yeah. Well, one of my favorites uh, to do is TCM, uh, yeah. and um, uh, over there I watched uh, the other day. I watched um, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, yeah, which I had never seen because I always considered it a boring liberal movie. You know, oh look, the black guy, you know, and a white woman. Oh, let's do the drama about this. But, but I had enough we- enough years have passed yeah. that I thought I'll watch it. And uh, first of all, it's a damn good movie. Yeah. All right. Uh, but it, it 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 it's kind of fun to watch it in the perspective of what has happened since and what it was trying to do, and the fact that this guy had to be like a Nobel Prize winning doctor in order to make him the black person worthy of this woman, okay? Um, well, so the dating huh? was not common, uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know, it just wasn't common. Well, yeah, you're right. I mean, people didn't do it because for all the reasons that it's talked about in the film, you know, their lives would be made miserable by it, and everywhere they would live in the United States, they would be stared at and so on. And, uh, you know, I bet... Hmm? That's what they're trying to do to Republicans. That's what they're trying to do to Republicans. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other thing I've been watching, yeah, is a uh, Vice is doing a three night documentary on QAnon. These people are out to fucking lunch. I think oh. even you will agree with that. You know, uh, I. I'm sure there are fringe groups all over the place. No, this isn't a fringe, though. This thing has turned into a phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. This is not, they they said, you know, you could write this off as some small little splinter group or something like that. But no, it's a madness that's taken over a huge part of our population who believes that uh, Democrats eat babies. Yes. I mean, that's, yeah, they eat babies. And I, you know why? Because they're delicious. This is my QAnon friend. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he he's here uh, just making sure that, uh, you know, you don't beat up too bad on Republicans. Yeah. yeah well, I, we don't have to beat up on Republicans. They pretty well beat up on themselves in the last couple of weeks. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see. There was, um, there was some other. Oh, there was a riot. Uh, was it Tacoma or uh, uh, one of yeah, the, uh, Tacoma? I think. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't the cop that ran over the uh, protest. The I protest. think it was. Okay, but there was another one where they uh, uh, Antifa uh, attacked. Uh, Antifa a, doesn't uh, exist, uh, Phil. Uh, Phil. Uh, Phil. Phil. It doesn't stuff. exist. Well, okay. let me tell you something. I saw on the news, and I didn't go back to try to find it, but the news said that they had a flag. An Antifa flag, and uh, you know, as much as you say they don't exist, there's a flag out there that says that they do. Well, yeah, of course, but you, there are flags there that says that uh, Trump, Trump won the election. Anyway, uh, you know, I mean, I I uh, just think that um, you know, QAnon. This is strange with QAnon. There's, not, there are some people that actually think it was created as a uh, way of getting to the, uh, to the Republicans and creating this, this mythic thing. And, but people took it seriously, and it caught on, and now it's this weird movement of people who actually believe, as I say, that you know Democrats eat babies for lunch. Because, as I said earlier, they are, they are quite tasty. Especially the younger, the better, because it's like veal, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. uh, and, and you eat a young baby and it's just it's phenomenal. What's that hammer that they use to, to make the steak? Uh, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the tenderizer. Yeah. Well, you, you do that to the younger babies. Well, and... not, if, not, if, not if they're young enough. Not if they're young yeah. enough. If they're young enough, you just put them in a pan and just fry them up. Yeah. You know, maybe you might want to do some things like put some breading on them. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I should start a uh, a, a Democrat baby cookbook. Yeah, right. It probably go over. Yeah, probably would. I think I will. 
Is we'll see what happens. Just and and it, as endorsed by QAnon. Yeah. Well, yeah. now just to give you the other side of the story, mm-hmm. it's as though these left wing groups are protesting against Biden, and so it's not Trump that they're uh, that they're looking to protest. It's Biden, and and these are left wing groups. You're familiar with this, right? No, I'm not familiar with this. How could you not be familiar with it? I'm not familiar with it because I, I, I live in a bubble now. I don't, I don't go out. And all I, I do, I turn on MSNBC and I'm getting so sick and tired of them, you know, that I can't watch them anymore. So now I'm, I'm watching YouTube and then I get a lot of misinformation on YouTube. Well, you're not watching the right things. You know what I watch on YouTube what? is this guy that lives in his van. And he goes camping all over the place and cooks meals while he's while he's camping. Hmm. It, it, the one I like is called "Living the Van Life," and uh, mm-hmm. you know? I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Yeah, uh, I don't know how many followers he has, but uh, he has the best equipment, the best refrigerator, the best of everything, and he goes to some really great spots. Who did I see who said that was one of his favorite shows? And I can't remember who it is now. It was some interview that was being done, and and they said that they like the the van life. That's what they're watching living, on TV. Living the van yeah, life. Yeah. And this guy's name is Chad. And uh, you know, one one time he went. Remember in Moab, uh, in the desert, there yeah. was uh, this obelisk uh, that yeah. was yeah. Uh, uh-huh. was put there, and nobody knows how it got there. Right. Uh, so he drove like 80 miles on these roads that y- you wouldn't believe. And he mm-hmm. gets there and uh, then he finds a place to camp and he sets up and he makes some pretty good meals, actually. Yeah, that's, all, that's, that's, it, that's interesting. That's good stuff to watch. But, you know, the thing is that uh, I've just been indoors way too much, you know, yeah. and um it's I, 36 degrees in New York right now. Is it really? What's the temperature? Well, at least 34, it was, 34. I checked a couple, an hour 34, ago. 34. And uh, yeah, it, it's cold here. It's in the 50s. Uh, it's freezing here. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I was sitting in the living room with two blankets on me. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, but I, I looked, New York, it's what, raining? And it's raining here too. Yeah. Well, it, it, anyway, so. Um, um, the the big thing now I heard is that you got the uh, the uh, vaccination. Yes, I did. Yeah, and uh, probably took you five minutes, right? Right. It, well, I was lucky. What happened was uh, Kaiser lowered, uh, or it wasn't Kaiser. The state said that sixty five and above uh, could get it. So there was a little window, and I I got on right away. It took me about an hour on the phone. Uh, I got the appointment mm-hmm. and. Uh, two days later, they changed it to 75 and above. So I, I got in just at the right time. Now, when I went... Well, wait, 65 and above. They changed it to 65 and above. No, it, it, they changed it to 65. And yeah. two days later, after I got my appointment, they changed it to 75 and above. But that's, so I, that's not what the CDC says. It has to be 65 and above. Uh, well, there was just a, a window. Now hey, they're yeah. in California... Yeah. I guess the amount of vaccines, they, they cut it down and change the age. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I, I pulled up into Kaiser. I got a parking space right out front. Mm-hmm. It was, the, you know, the parking gods were with me. There's, you know, the, the Goyam, they have something called St. Parker. Yeah. It's the patron yeah. Saint of parking. Yeah. Patriot Saint of parking. I, right. Right. Yeah. I've been praying to St. Parker for a long time. Yeah. Well, it worked out on, uh, on COVID day. So uh, I pull COVID in, I, I, get my, I get my spot, I walk in, they see my name on the list, they hand me a clipboard, tell me to go to the third floor, I, I, uh, I'm filling it out as I'm waiting in line, uh, maybe in six, seven minutes, eight minutes, they pull me in, there's the chair, uh, they come out with a needle. That, yeah, that it's, 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 like it's, a, uh, it's huge, I'm, I'm surprised it doesn't go to bone, okay? Yeah. Well, uh, so, uh, you know, I, I looked at that needle and uh, I said, uh, all right. And so they sh- they stuck me in the arm mm-hmm. and I I said, I don't feel anything. Is, is this a placebo? Are you, f- you know, did you did you put the needle in? I didn't feel anything. And they said, no, we put it in. You got it. I Me, mean, it was just a pinch. It was a pinch, you know. But yeah. here, here's the thing. What wasn't a pinch was 
Oh, God. How do I put this? I wait, we waited in line for two hours. I saw your video. Yeah, two hours. That, that was sick. Those, those are old people. I know. How could they do that? Marjorie has a bad back, and it exacerbated her back problems because it yeah. was cold and she was standing all the time. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I wrote the city. I said, how can you do this to people? You know? Um, and then what the city does, well, what, what the governor did and the city, they go, oh, well, we're going to have a new super place to, to give out the vaccines out at Met Stadium. Now, to begin with, who wants to go all the way to Met Stadium to get a fucking shot, right? Yeah. Especially right. when you can get one a block and a half away. Yeah, well, so uh, was it social distancing that was the problem? Well, or? wait a minute. And then I saw the governor on television, and he was at like some, I don't know, some some apartment house or something, but it was probably like a, a housing complex, a housing thing, you know. For poor yeah. people, and they were opening up a a a, a pop up clinic there. Yeah, and and, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hey, wait a minute, you're saying we've got a problem that we don't have enough drugs, enough of this vaccine. Where are you finding this stuff? You know, if you're going to do Met Stadium and you're going to do Yankee Stadium, why are you talking about that just for the optics? Because you don't have the drugs to to do it. You know. Jack Center made sense because it's indoors and and it's big and and you can and you can uh, socially yeah, distance. But people. I still I can go a block and a half to my local hub here, get yeah. it there. Why do I want to go to Javits? Because you don't want to wait outside for two hours in the cold. Well, I, I who knows I might have to you know. But anyway, it just was it just. Oh, God awful here. And then when I finally got my second appointment, it was for five and a half weeks later. Right. Now, uh, Alan sent us some stuff from the CDC. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I quickly glanced at it. But didn't it say something about uh, uh, that four days or something uh, after the, uh, uh, the time that you're supposed to go? For you, it's what, 28 days? Yeah, but it, it but mine it's more like um, five and a half weeks. Five and a half weeks, but they now have upped it to six weeks for the second shot. Really? Now, did that did that uh, uh, information that Alan sent you? Did it say that there was only a four day uh, window? I think so, but that was old. I think that was old information because the CDC now has said, and the the mayor today talked about it, that um, everybody. Um, it it's now six weeks is the re, the the required time. Okay, so mine's five and a half weeks, so I'll be fine. But uh, who knows? They may run out of stuff and juice and not be able to get around to me for like seven eight weeks. But I think it's still good. It's just they like it as close to that as possible. And then we're going to find out the fucking stuff doesn't work because of one reason or another. But Johnson and Johnson's does. And now we have to get in line again for the Johnson and Johnson said that theirs works against the UK variant, but uh, there's an African variant mm -hmm. that um, that they say it doesn't. Uh, right, right. Well, stuff. you know, it'll it'll get, keep trying to kill us. Okay. Uh, yeah. but what 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 Fauci said was is that they're they are working on and they're coming close to an actual vaccine. This isn't a vaccine. This is a whole different kind of technology. But coming up with a, a normal vaccine where you go and get the shot, you get a little of the antibody, you get the sniffles a little bit, and then you're okay, you know. So he said that's coming too. Well, just to finish my Kaiser story, uh, this is one of the first times I've ever really gotten re such great service. Uh, I, so anyway, they give me the needle, mm -hmm. walk into the uh, room. Each desk had a timer on it. Mm -hmm. You sit there, you press the timer. Fifteen minutes later, you got up and you got in another line. Mm -hmm. and two, three minutes later, I had my second appointment and I was out the door. When's your second appointment? Four weeks? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, three weeks. Uh, three weeks? Are, are you, uh, February 11th, I believe. You, you did the uh, Pfizer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, I, I, I immediately filled out the thing to, to set up a date, and the only date available was the 27th, like yeah. five and a half weeks later. And I'm going... 
Why? I'm supposed to get it at four. Why don't they make sure that the people who are getting it now get it at four? I mean, it's just insane. Well, it, New York they, is fucked. They told me to show up at 1215 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I got there at 11 because I was afraid I couldn't park. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at 1110, I walked in. And they took me, and I, I was out uh, in in less than an hour. Well, you're gonna be you're gonna be in good shape because in three weeks you're through, and then I gotta wait another three weeks past you to get my goddamn shot. That's true. That's you know, true. I mean, no, it really pisses me off. It really pisses me off. Well, the reason I say that is, why don't you just show up uh, four weeks from now? And say, um, you know, this is the no, date because they because we have that we have an uh, ID number that we have to give them. You yeah, know? they they said, you know, I bucks. keep telling this story, and people are probably tired of it. But they sent a thing the day of the uh, of the uh, that I'm supposed to get the shot. In fact, they sent me 19 copies of it, uh, and it it simply said, uh, here, go here, answer these some questions, and then you will get a QR code. Bring that QR code with you to the uh, place. And with your ID number, and uh, you're going to be good to go. Oh. So anyway, so I do that, right? And yeah. they print up a couple of copies of it so I don't lose one. And it says, do not get here earlier than five minutes before your appointed How time. How did that work for you? Huh? How did that work for you? Well, <laughs> you know, I got there five minutes ahead of time, and now it was a two-hour wait in line. So, right. so that didn't work. And then when I finally went to the thing and said, well, here's my QR code. She says, I don't have anything to read that. What's your ID number? <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, you, the people in New York uh, was, it was what, 75 and above? Hmm? 75 and above? No, 65 and above. 65 and above. And then there were a lot of younger people there who were like uh, 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 caregivers and things like that who qualified as well, so. People in that age group even know what a QR code is, and and uh, you know, no, that's the other part of it. I mean, I'm I'm able to negotiate this because I somehow have some of a rudimentary rudimentary um, um, ability at, uh, at doing this stuff. But yeah, we, you take some old people and they go, "What's a QR code? You know, what is it? You know." I, my mother, I said, "Why don't you, you know, get on Skype or Zoom so I could talk to you and see you." And she says, I don't do that. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, well, the and, other the other thing was that I had a uh, what do you call it here? A, uh, I had a uh, I had a printer. So I printed out the QR code and it printed the page and half the QR code was on one page and half the QR code was on the other. Well, I know how to cut the QR code out of the email and then paste it on the page and, and just print the QR code. But how many older people even know how to, they don't even know what a QR code is. I, I went to a restaurant while they were still open. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so I'm, I'm uh, outside doing the outside dining. They don't give you a menu. They uh, give you a little thing and you point your phone at the QR code. Mm -hmm. and then you get the menu. So it's touchless. There's no menu to touch. Uh mm -hmm. That was that was an experience even for me wow. because I didn't have the QR code reader, uh, and uh, so I yeah. had to download that first. And then I then I took my QR code reader, which is in every iPhone, right? Right. And I read the QR code, and it was simply the ID number <laughs> that was on the page. <laughs> so I mean, it, it's idiotic. It, it's horrible here. And I hear everybody in California when I talk to them, they go, "I just walked in, walked out." You know, it took yeah. me 10 minutes, uh, you I know. Did. Now, my friend Will called me today. We uh -huh. were supposed to have lunch. He got the Moderna injection mm -hmm. uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. He said he couldn't sleep. He had headaches. Really? Uh, had a, he had a terrible night last night because of, uh, I guess, he had a reaction. Mm, I don't night. think so. I think that he just was, you know. Uh, he was you know, probably wasn't feeling well, and he attributed that to the shot. But know. I had a customer uh, that uh, had the Pfizer uh, a couple days ago, and she said that she had uh, a number of problems as well. Really? I had no problems at all. I think I had a little something I don't know. You know, the arm, of course, hurt. I, I had no pain in the arm. The only thing I could do is when I touched it, it uh, yeah. I could 
I could sense where the injection site was, yeah, but yeah. there wasn't any pain. Yeah, but you know, I it's pretty. Supposedly, the second shot is not as easy peasy. That you do get a little <laughs> ill from the second shot. Not that the second shot, second shot's the same as the first shot, uh, but the the difference is you're now doubling up the dose. See, yeah, and that that's why. Well, listen, uh, there are people waiting to come on here. I don't know why they want me. I guess they want to have a discussion or something. I have no idea. I could talk to you for the next hour, and we you could. Know, you're just going to complain. Some uh, Shrek will come up with something like, "Oh, that Phil, what he said was no good." Yeah, you know, no, no, no. This was a very nice, civil, happy discussion we had here, because I didn't ask you, "What do you think of Biden?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I did read that 55 senators uh, uh, voted for uh, uh, preliminarily voted for impeachment. Mm -hmm. and 45 uh, was it 45 uh, yeah. Republicans voted against. And so therefore uh, they preliminarily know that it's not going to carry. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not big on impeachment. Over overthrown today, yeah. too. Uh, his, uh, one of his things was a uh, there was a judge in Texas mm -hmm. that uh, I, I guess he had signed something uh, for uh, an immigration bill, mm -hmm. uh, not a bill, but an immigration thing that you know, hundred days. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they they uh, they put a freeze on that, so he can't. Wow. Uh, that was his first defeat. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're doing these judges are doing to Biden what. Uh, they were doing the Trump. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm getting to the point where I just don't care. I just want to. I just want to get the next shot and be able to live a decent life. Yeah. Anyway, Phil, we'll talk to you next week. How's that? Huh? Is you that bet. is that okay by you? It's okay yeah. by you, isn't it? It's okay by me. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank Phil Meyer. Bye, Phil. There he goes. Okay, there goes Phil Meyer, and here we are. Um, why is this? Um, uh, it looks like it's not. Uh, uh, oh, I see what that is. Okay, here I want to go to my camera. Here, here we go. Ah, this will, this will be okay. See, it's fine. I'm having some troubles tonight with my picture. I'm. Ha I had troubles when I was starting the show tonight. I was, before I never should install anything just before I go on the air on the other machine. Oh, have, we have this thing, it's called Remote PC, and Remote PC is the way that Jack comes on and puts posts his show and so on. And they updated it. So I updated it, and then it wouldn't work, and then I spent the, you know, I did it five minutes before I was supposed to go on the air. So we got on a little late, but I finally got it working, so what the hell. Well, let's get all these people on here and uh, talk for about 55 minutes, and then we go to, we get out of here and we go to sleep and uh, we don't uh, we don't even uh, worry about it. Let me see here. Let's see who we've got. Uh, p -p -p who who's John Gomes? This I this I don't know who this is. Who is John Gomes? Hello, John. Are you there? He called the other night, didn't he, guys? If I'm I not mistaken, I think that's somebody who came before. John, are you there? John. Go, I'm, you're you getting ready? We're gonna we're gonna hang up on you, John. John, we're gonna hang up on you. Okay. Uh, uh, John, Gomes away. John, let me see here. Put him waiting room. The other night, didn't he, guys? No, just remove. Okay. Goodbye, John. John, are you there? Yeah, remove John Gomes. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see here. I'll tell you later. What happened? It says the report. What happened? Oh. Uh, Dan, no, you Dan, did. Dan, you've got you've got Hello? the show. Uh, Dan does. Oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Somebody's got their radio, uh, their uh, audio on. Dan does. Dan. It's coming from Dan. Get Dan. Cut your mic a second. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Wait a minute, Dan. Is, is it is it you, Jeff? No. Yeah. Am I what? You get rid of the audio. Yeah. Yeah, there. What am I? What's my problem? You have something on in the background. Oh, that might be me. That might be you. Yes. <laughs> you oh, that very good. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah, we're, we're, learning, we're learning how to use 
The first time I think he, it was me. The fi- first time I he muted ca- it. First time he calls the. Sh- you got to turn off the sound on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. First time he calls in seven years and he fucks it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, how y'all doing? Doing good. Did okay. you uh, have time to read the CDC thing? Yeah, but it's. I think it's kind of dated, actually. Uh, I think they, uh, it's only five days old. Yeah, well, it doesn't 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 have the current uh, yeah, thing does. about. Does it about yeah, the it six does. about the six week deal? No. Nope. No, no, it doesn't. So, 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 not only that, but I mean, I, I'll go into more detail if you want when when everybody gets settled. Um, uh, there, there's more news, and your five weeks um, are unfortunately not what the medical and scientific. Am I back do. now? Oh, yes, you are, Dan. I don't know. Fuck. Goodbye. Oh boy. Did you read it, Brian? No, I've been. Very busy, last 24 hours. Yeah, I don't really want to get into it, Alan, to tell you the truth. You know, it, I, the fact is that our, our mayor today was talking about it. He said, uh, you can. the CDC says you can go six weeks now, he said, and a lot of our appointments are getting late, and, and don't worry about it. It's all well within the time frame of when it is still potent enough, you know. In other words, if you're telling me that I shouldn't, that at five and a half weeks, it's not worth my time, then I'm not going to go get it. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> and that's not what the CDC is saying. This, the, the short of it is um, the CDC is saying that, that you shouldn't alter from the study. And Phil touched on that a little bit at the end, that you shouldn't alter from the study because we don't have data that shows that you can that you can take it out to five or six weeks. And uh, there's a lot of different medical people, including Dr. Fauci and a few other people from s- some shows I watched on JAMA, the Journal of American Medical. Okay, Social well, then I just won't go get my second shot because it's not worth no, my no, time. No, no, that's not, that's not the right way to do it. Well, when it's not the right way to do it, you say no. that they're saying it's not, well, that's not the good medicine. And from what I understand, they have said, and they, the mayor of, uh, of New York uh, heard from the CDC and talked to them and said that six weeks is now the recommended time frame because that also allows us to give more of the present supply to people who haven't had it yet. Yeah, well, that's happening in New York and California. They're still sticking to what the CDC said, and that's uh, to stick to the three and four weeks. Well, they, they, I didn't, it, it's I, a, it, I it's didn't, get, I didn't get a four week appointment. There wasn't one it, available. <clears throat> what they're afraid of, what they're afraid of, is that if they keep extending it out, a lot of people will say, "Well, obviously." I've got one, and that'll hold me, and they won't. No, make- no, 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 no. Here's what they're doing: by mm-hmm. by by doing all this, they're confusing us and making us not have much faith in this working. Absolutely. Uh, but the fact is that I, I I think the the mayor even said you could go even more weeks that past six weeks, and it probably is still quite is is still strong enough, and it's still in your system, and it simply works as a booster. But that uh, if you're if you if you're scheduled to get it within six weeks, don't worry about it. It's not a problem, and uh, you know it, okay. it shall so, be done. You know, you know the city in New York says seven or eight weeks. No, they're saying they're saying that the they're going by the current what they consider the current CDC guidance, which is okay. six weeks for the second shot for both Pfizer mm-hmm. and Moderna. Thereby, that also gives them a larger supply to give to people who want their first shot. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Okay. Let's talk about something different. Because, you know, I'm, I'm so pissed off at this city with oh, the way well, they've I, handled this whole oh, thing. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. Everything keeps yeah. changing every yeah. day. The rules, the, the mask, the no mask. Uh, do you need a haircut? Can you get a haircut? Nobody uh, said no mask. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, it's always uh, masks. So, so about just haircuts. For, just for the yeah. Well, we can now get them again. Looks good there, uh, Brian. Really? So, so yeah. I'm I'm on an advisory board, and mm-hmm. we couldn't talk about it under Trump, but under the new CDC commissioner, 
She says everything's going to be more transparent. And if we send you an email and it gives updates, you can send it to all your friends so everybody's on the same page. Oh, okay. And I'm all like, right. most of my friends wouldn't understand it. But okay, okay. Well, calm down, that. calm down, calm down, calm down. There's I'm calm. A whole bunch of people here. You know, is, and we still have like a, a, a 50 minutes, so you'll you'll have time to get stuff in. So I, calm, calm down. I know you you love doing you else. love doing this show, but you know, and we want everybody to get their two cents worth. And what? So where have you been, Dan? What's your excuse? Uh, I've been. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Now why don't you move yes. your camera up so we can see your full face? Okay, well, I'm kind of... No, that's the other way. There, there that's the right okay. way. There we All go. All right, there I am. Yeah. Uh, just, I don't... I can't give a good reason why I haven't been on, but recently I'm I'm presently recovering from a hernia surgery, so I'm kind of... But I'm, I'm almost all the way recovered from that. A so. hernia surgery. Yeah, uh, yeah, sounds like fun, right? Yeah, well, I, I have a hernia, and I probably <laughs> should get it, but I haven't gotten it, so, yeah. you know. Well, you know, mine mine had just gotten bad. It's It, it had been around for about 10 years, and it finally mm. got to the point where it was bothering me, and I was just like, get it done, so. You no, know, mine, does, uh, mine doesn't bother me. It just bulges, you know. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But, but uh, 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 and, how, how long did it take you to get over the operation? Well, I, uh, it's been, this is I what old people talk about, by the way, folks, if you just joined us, I know, What's a hernia? I, I, I know <laughs> I've, I've, I've now joined the ranks of I'm 51. So now I, I've had a colonoscopy in this. So now I have stuff to talk right. about. So, yeah, well, actually hernias are something you can get in your thirties. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. Get, yeah. I, and so, I had it for like 10 yeah. years. Well, how long did it started... take you to get over the operation? Um, it was about a week, and, and probably it was just the last couple of days that I okay. noticed I had okay. my full range of motion. So, so about a week it took to get yeah. over it. So that's your excuse why you haven't called for three years? Three years. No. <laughs> um, actually, I don't have a really good excuse for that. I confess I do not have a good excuse. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know. Uh, and uh, let me see here. A spacky win. Oh, John Larkin. Uh, you, you, oh, yeah. you, for those for those of us who don't know Dan, where are you calling from? I call you know you know what here. This is a funny story. Did you see the movie uh, on Netflix, Hillbilly Elegy? Mm -hmm. That's where I'm from, Middletown, Ohio. Oh. That's the town where I live. Yeah, but the kid is and, from Middletown, Ohio, but he goes to. He has some yeah. like hillbilly background. Yeah, he started on he started on Kentucky. I, I read the book too because yeah. I was you know it was all about Middletown yeah. and I was door dashing when that, at that time too. So it's a pretty mediocre film, by the way. But uh, yeah, what, what's, her name? Uh, what, what, what's her name? What's her name? I'm trying Amy to remember. Adams. Uh, no, job. is it Cloris Leachman? Glenn Close. Yeah, Glenn Close is yeah. terrific in that film. <laughs> yeah, she did. But yeah, it's, it wasn't a great movie, but it was fun watching it. See, oh, I know that place. I know that place. Stuff, stuff like that. They filmed it here. Yeah. A uh, couple years ago. So. Yeah. You're not a hillbilly, are you? I'm not a hill. Oh, I don't get me started on 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 that because that's I I'm I'm a blue guy in a sea of of Trump land here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think that might be the reason I haven't called in because I get, so, you know, you get your adjectives so up with the, the Trump thing. Yeah, I'll take any excuse you want to give us. Okay, whatever. That's an excuse. And I, okay. I would like to say we missed you, but. Hmm. You don't. Really. You know, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm glad you're here you now, but I didn't, I, I didn't every night go to myself saying to myself, whatever happened to Dan Meyer? Hmm. Well, yeah, I just... And then I, I said, know. oh, he'll show up someday when he finally needs friends again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Charlie? Charlie is our, our gives the uh, death report here. He, he's, yeah. he's our Dr. Doom. By, yeah, by the way, yeah. I don't know. I got to get a hold of Richard. I got to see what happened to him because he was our sergeant Robert. at arms. Robert. Robert, 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 you mean? That's yeah. probably why he doesn't. Probably why he doesn't. <laughs> huh? You miss him so much, you forgot his name. <laughs> anyway, Robert. Uh, um, um, let's see here. Polly. Huh? I hear Polly. a cabinet is no longer available in New Jersey. Oh, Robert. 
Robert. Robert's from New Jersey. Uh, yeah, Robert. Uh, uh, I can try to remember his last name here, so I can put it in. Natali. 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 <laughs> I've see. been here three weeks, and I know these things. Robert Natali. Let me tell me. You're good with this. What? Yeah, we go. Robert <laughs> Natali. Here we go. Here's Robert yeah. Natali. And uh, uh, Sometimes. let's see here. Uh, 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 let's see here. Search for uh, where's the oh message? Here we go. Okay, uh, the the guys here. <laughs> uh, the guys here. We're, we're wondering, wondering where the fuck, fuck, <laughs> where the fuck are you? Fuck you. What's my next tip word here? It's you <laughs> have you been? Uh, that's with a question mark. Hope, wait a minute, see, hope, it's, oh, God, I, I, I really, I, let me put on my glasses. Yeah, I can't see the keyboard from here. Turn the computer on, too? It's, it, yeah, it's on, it's on. It's nothing serious. So you had a hernia for 10 years? It says, I don't know what a hernia is, sorry, but. They're saying an organ, oh. yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it burst it through the lining. Tear of, in your stomach. Yeah, tear abdomen. in your stomach above your belly button. <clears throat> really? Yeah. You had to live, and that I, you had that for ten years. Where was yours? It was right above the belly button. Oh, right above the belly button. Mine's in my yeah. groin. Oh, okay. That, the hernias, hernias can come it come in many forms and shapes yeah. and are in many different places, uh, and. Uh, uh, in in uh, his particular case, it was above his belly button. It's yeah. a high. Yours was a hiatal hernia, right? Well, umbilical hernia. Umbilical hernia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you get oh. that cut when you were a baby? Well, that was <laughs> my. I don't have the umbilical cord, but uh, okay. yeah, that I can show you my scar. Who wants to see my scar? <laughs> No, no, no. Let's not start that. Though. Oh boy. But, oh yeah. For ten. Why? Why? For why did you wait ten years? You're like I did. It didn't or? bother me for like eight years, <laughs> and then it just started bothering me a little bit more and more. And and you can live with a hernia. It's not like. So it's but a, it was. Yeah. It was not getting better. It was. It was not getting better, and I was like. About six months ago, I finally decided I needed to do oh, it, and then there was some insurance. My hernia, yeah. I finally got it done two weeks ago. So my I'm hernia, my hernia, uh, is uh, it's part of my uh, my intestines, and oh, yeah. it bulges out, and then, you know <laughs> yeah. it hurts a little bit sometimes, but then most of the time it never bothers me. So only when you're on the Peloton. I do, the Peloton. <laughs> Peloton. Yeah. Everybody drink. I looked it up. Oh, you you I, got a like Peloton, Peloton too? Better. Everybody's got those. No, I no. My wife bought it. Oh. I don't want to be known as somebody who bought a Peloton. <laughs> well, okay. Howard Stern's oh, always talking about his oh. Peloton too. You don't want to be known as the person who bought one and doesn't ever use it. Well, I used to say I used to have a, a joke once that I used to give about uh, how I. Um, they say, "Do you get any exercise?" I said, "Yeah, I have a I have a stationary bike." I said, oh, good. Do you use it? I said, well, it's not meant to be stationary. <laughs> or, yeah, I use it as a coat rack. <laughs> yeah, but it's stationary. Marjorie bought, has a bicycle here that she never uses, and she spent like 400 bucks to get it fixed. Mm. Oh, guess what? Our washer dryer has to be fixed for $500. Yeah. What? The washer, the washer needs to be repaired. That's right. That's right. I, I can remember names and I can remember mm -hmm. conversations too. Mm -hmm. So it's like a 20, 20 cent washer and 400. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they have, <laughs> yeah, to, take, they have, to, they have to take out the whole take everything out. Have, have to take the tub out and everything. But the reason I'm not getting another one is number one, I said to him, I said, what can? How's the condition on this? Because it's eleven years old. Is it falling apart? Is it old? What? There's no. It's it's fine. He said, I know this. People who have this model and these things never wear out. You know, things mm. go on them and you rep repair them. 
And secondly, if I got one, it would cost me. I couldn't go to Amazon because they'll just deliver it. What do I do then? Okay. And then, uh, 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 so then I could buy it from like PC Richards, but then I'd have to pay, I'd pay 1500 bucks for one, and then I'd have to pay another 200 for them to install the goddamn thing and pull the other one out. And it was better to just fix this thing. But this guy hasn't gotten back to me. He said he was waiting for a part, and he hasn't gotten back to me yet. So, is your washer anything special? It's just a, a you know, stacked washer dryer, you know, one of those stacked deals. Back, you know, nine hundred dollars to get a new one. Get no, no, one. no, not nine hundred. No, no. Yeah, cheapest, cheapest one at at uh, Amazon is thirteen hundred. So, you know, I wouldn't buy a washer and dryer at Amazon, but that's okay. Well, well, that's, that's why. That's what I said. That, so I, you go if I go to PC Richards or someplace like that. <laughs> it's uh, what are you doing with your picture, Ray? <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's my phone, and I, I've never done this on. The well, phone like why don't you this. quit futzing around and do it? I'm sorry. When, do it when you're not on with I'm, us. You know. Okay. Yeah. Because that's annoying. I didn't know you were watching. What do you mean you didn't know we were watching? <laughs> I don't we, know. We didn't, even, we didn't even know you were there. That's almost as bad as the lame excuse that Dan just gave for not <laughs> calling the show oh, for five Dan years. On the show. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, Dan's no, I, I, doing it now, too. I got this <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now. Oh, well, hold That's on crazy. a second, folks. If you're going to do it. Uh, oh, no. Uh, then let me I see. Oh, oh, no. Roar. I'm, 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 oh, gonna, I'm, I, I'm going to I'm I'm going going to. to make you all feel right, horrible here. Here we, here we go. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not the one I want. This, this is the one <laughs> I want. Gonna, there we are. Okay. So, so there we go. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Alex Ramble. That's perfect. Yeah. That's Just, very yeah, distracting. Or, or I can do this one here. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. I'm very distracted. What? That's just too distracting. I me. know. I know. So I'll just go back to none. It's just messing up my night. <laughs> but that's why I don't use it. I think that, I think I think it's one of the more annoying features of Zoom. It is. I, I like Ray's picture. Daylight, sun setting over the Golden Gate Bridge behind him. Of course, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, Glass 40 of wine. Miles, I'm 40 miles away from you, and it's pouring rain, windy, and dark. Yeah, so well, yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but that's that's the standard that's a standard background that they have on Zoom. If you go into Zoom, oh. you have that background. Yeah. You can use it, too. No? You okay. Know. And I, I we like, got, I like uh, Jeffrey's. I like the koi fish in the picture behind. Well, that's now, just a, that, that's just a fake background there. That he has he's, <laughs> he's chroma key as a green screen. Really, I thought it was a uh, aquarium. Yeah, he has a green screen. Um, Actually, my my friend uh, designed that. That's, that's very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Actually, that's a sun. That's a sunrise coming over the from the bridge. Is yeah. that from the headlands? Is that it? Yeah, yeah I, that shots from the headlands. I stand yeah, directly. Sunrise. Yeah, sunrise. sunrise. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I, sunrise. So anyway, I'm pissed at our governor and our mayor, and you know, I'm just, I, oh, I, 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 no, I'm, I'm never gonna get the second shot. I know it's not gonna happen. Yeah, you, know? you will. Uh, you no, know, just it, it, it will not happen. Did you, you get it scheduled? I mean, it's always supposed to be scheduled. I right? got scheduled, but the only thing they had on their schedule was five and a half weeks later. So the, what's wrong with that? Huh? Yeah. What's wrong with five days? Five weeks, I mean. No, it's, about, it's about five and a half weeks, yeah. So what? And so what, yeah. Yeah, I think I actually heard the... the you know what's interesting, is... though? Every time you every time you go and you're going to have some kind of a medical procedure, no matter what it is, you have to get a COVID test. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants a COVID test now before you have a medical procedure. I got it. Yeah. Well, Marjorie today had to have a COVID test. By the way, I don't have COVID. I do by, by proxy, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and uh, she had to go get it so because she had this thing. And they told her... That once she gets the second shot, she's not going to have to go get a COVID test anymore. Are they that sure mm -hmm. this thing works? What about that no. other? What about keep testing? What What about that other five <laughs> percent? Yeah, keep know? testing. That's right. Don't believe that. Come on, that's. A Wait a minute! I I took, I took the first shot. I, more tests. I took more the first tests. shot. I took the second shot. I got more testing, and, and I still have money. I still have COVID. Well, we told you there's five percent chance, you know. 
So yes, I got three kids of birth to college. More tests, please. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I, I got a hobby. But Dan, I, I was gonna say uh, now when when I got my COVID test like a couple days before my surgery, man, they fucking jammed this long queue to all the way up there. Mm-hmm. And they keep it up there for 10 seconds. I was thinking if I if they would have kept it up there for 10 more seconds, I would confess to storm in the Capitol building. <laughs> <laughs> because it was kind of torture. Oh, you know and, I mean? and we don't have a lot of people watching us tonight. I just know. And that was before the Capitol building was stormed. We don't right? have, no, I, no, the Capitol building was stormed on the 6th. My surgery was on the 14th, and I was tested oh. on like the 11th. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't say that because in, in the county where I live, you know, I, I live in a county where half the population would be perfectly willing to go along with the insurrection. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's oh, good. Anyway, I'm just looking, and we have, don't have a lot of people listening to us either. It's, see, I, that's why I'm not going to post the show tonight. Screw it. Yeah. I think people are tired of hearing about your washer and dryer. What? What about what about I'm my big kidding. comeback? What do they want to hear? What? What yeah. about your big comeback? People don't know you came back yet. I mean, wait till tomorrow. The hype will go around. around. What do they want yeah. me to talk about? The fact that B- Biden is the worst president ever. <laughs> I, think put a smile on I mean, he is just the worst mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. Prostate problems. And prostate problems. That and prostate problems. Doesn't that usually get a lot of people? <clears throat> no, I think I'm going to join QAnon. I'm really going to do that. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. They're uh, such a fine bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> on both sides. Just people on both sides. Yeah, on both sides. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm watching this documentary. Trust Q- the plan. On, on How did that go? On QAnon, and I went to their a website where you can find QAnon, which is uh, bkun, B-K-U-N dot T-O-P, I think it's called. T- I, I don't know what T-O-P stands for. And then you go there, and it's like a bulletin board, and they've got all this crazy crap on it. You know. What about QAnon.com? They don't have that. No. no. No, no. I, I downloaded uh, Telegram, the uh, the app. You know that they're on. They're on. The, they're on Telegram. Yeah. I think that's yeah. isn't it, is. Oh, really? And then all of a sudden, I started getting these text messages for some kind of a scam. You know. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Now, what is Telegram versus Parler? I don't understand. Well, Parler is gone. Parler, <laughs> Parler, gone, Parler was but... a site. Uh, uh, Telegram's an app, isn't it? It's a messaging app. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of like Reddit in a way, you know. Oh like a, man, I, you know something. I don't Reddit bad enough. I don't use Reddit. Like a message board for psychos, you know. I don't use Reddit. I don't know how to get my Instagram going, so I never use that. You know, Instagram's easy. Hmm. Is it? Yeah, I mean. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just... In the immortal words of Senor Wences, what are you easy for me? Difficult. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you know what I was doing there, uh, Brian? Yeah, the little... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, sorry. This one, yeah. Ed Sullivan. So, trucker Steve, what do you have to say for yourself? You're back home, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm home for uh, about till Saturday. Yeah, going through a little bit of a gout flare up in my knee. So, oh God! Um, one thing, uh, you guys have ever had that before? I never had gout. <laughs> no, but we found out. That. No, I mean I've had I, I've had things. I didn't my... sleep for three fucking nights. Well, wait a minute, gout in the knee? I always thought you got a gout in your foot. But oh, yeah. you could get it in your knee and you could get it in your feet. Yeah, and it's oh, isn't it? Know, it a, and it's really fucking painful. Isn't it a lack of iodine? No, that's what I heard. The form of arthritis. Is it a form yeah. of arthritis? But there are there are medicines you can take for it, right? Yes, just yeah. ask Doctor Allen. But they used to use in comic strips. They used every rich person had gout. You know, mm-hmm. like Scrooge McDuck would have a big bandage on his foot and have his foot on a hassock. Yeah, because he was a rich person, and it was the disease of the rich. And I guess because of the kind of foods they ate or whatever. Fatty foods and alcohol. But now we know it's the, it's a, a, it also affects truckers. So, you know. How, how, how's the trucking business? Do, huh? 
You get it from too much protein. Oh, really? Too much protein. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't need really? a lot of protein, so I'm I'm pretty wow. good shape that way. Are you, are are you, you warm anything protein? for it? What? Like allopurinol? Uh, uh, I think so, yeah. I had that years ago, but I got to renew that prescription. Right. Okay, is, but while we're on the subject, since we're all old guys, let's see. We got, uh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Charlie, somebody said that we should give you a gangster name, and it should be Charlie Fortos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he had, he had uh, diabetes, and uh, he, he lost uh, six of his toes. And let's yep. see, Alan. What's your problem? You got a medical, couple of medical I'm, problems. I'm fat. You're, I'm fat. Okay, you're fat. That, that's an affliction, you know. Absolutely, I'm it, fat too. Yeah, uh, and, and, and probably and, part of the hernia problem. Well, but you had a hernia, okay? Yep. We got gout. We got hernia. How, oh, John Larkin. Uh, 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 shingles. Shingles. <laughs> you still got? Man, I'm sorry. You, you still got the shingles going there? Yeah, I do. It sucks. Oh. oh. I'm oh sorry, God. man. My yeah. aunt had them. They're not like they won't give me the shingles vaccine. It just itches. Maybe it's psoriasis. I don't know. It's something. It just mm. itches. It usually doesn't end up on your head. Yeah, shingles is usually like lower back, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, across your midsection. Whatever yeah. this is, it's on my head. It, mm. it itches like a motherfucker. Yeah, well, I, I have. I, you don't I, have bed bugs. I do have you? a carbuncle on my butt. <laughs> what? A carbuncle. Yeah, all over, right? They I, I get them about once a year. I get a carbuncle. What's that like How's the viewership oil? going? <laughs> huh? Uh, it's down. Get more to, viewers. Oh, we picked up some viewers. They like. See, viewers. I told you. They I like me you. talking no. about the carbuncles. Here comes uh, yeah. the words. The words getting out. The hands back. I come back. There comes John <laughs> Gomes again. <laughs> Here comes John Gomes again. Let's see if he will actually. Oh, oh John Gomes has come back too. Yeah, is he? Yeah, we're gonna get a picture on him. John, oh, are, you there there? are you there, John? Can you hear us? We need some more light. Oh yeah, I'm hemorrhoids. Now we need. Now we need. You need some light oh, because we can't see you. you. Sort of looks yeah. like Robert just woke up out of bed. No, it looks like it. But be, John, can you hear me? Talk. <laughs> uh, can you hear me? Can you get some light? Oh, looks like a looks like a gangster. Yeah, no, he looks well, like he's in a what? witness protection program. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> just uh, try to help us, you utilities, my man. What? Try to help with uh, my cost of utilities. Oh, you got to turn your audio down. It's yeah, just blasting away. It's just blasting away. No, the audio on 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 Zoom on your. Uh, it's on Zoom. Where? What? What do you? That's really annoying, John. Um, what you got to do is you got to go into your settings and turn your audio down. But I don't know. I don't know if you know how to do that, and I really can't put up with the sound right now. Okay. See you later, John. See you later, John. See ya. Um, I, he's ba abandoned to the waiting room. Okay. Hasta la vista, John. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, was John Gotti. Yeah, yeah. Fortos said to get rid of him, so we got rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Charlie Fortos. Yeah. Charlie Fortos said get rid of that guy. <laughs> Four T. We can call him Mr. Four T. Four T. Forty. 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 Anyway, so um, 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 let's see here. What's happened in the news? I don't care. I really don't care. I, 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 you know, I thought. Kellyanne Conway posted nudes of her oh daughter. My oh, yeah. God. yeah. Oh, oh, he did? That is so fucked up. I'm going to hear so much crazy fucked up well, shit. Well, I heard that news on TMZ, okay? Was... And they're talking about the nude pictures of, of Kellyanne Conway's daughter. <laughs> and I'm going, well, your TMZ, show them to us. You know, but apparently they couldn't Isn't find them. Like they got deleted yeah. after 24 hours. The people have them. Yeah, yeah it's Kelly Conway is going to go to jail for child porn, or actually not because she's well connected. <laughs> but, first, I thought they were of her, and I was going, "Oh no!" Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, well, it's, it's definitely oh guys. no now. And then, oh no! <laughs> if you look at those pictures now, then we're all going to hell. And the daughter is quite attractive. 
Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah. And she's also very underage. Too. Especially at 13. Right, no, she's Alex? not 13. She's 16. Uh, six, 16. She's 16. Yeah. Legal in Hawaii. If, if we just if we just set yeah, the it's... if we just set the timer, the pictures will be legal in about a week or so. so. <laughs> <laughs> she's I think she's an anti Trumper too. She doesn't oh, agree yeah. with her mother. That's yeah. what, yeah. that's what this did whole they, thing is. Totally. Did they say why or how she posted those? I don't understand. Now, her daughter's real prolific on TikTok. No, but so yeah, but but how did her mother? Her mother supposedly had the had them on her phone, and then she somehow posted them by accident, maybe to Twitter. Right. Now, like, why I, is she? Why is she gr gathering oh, pictures, naked was, pictures of her daughter? Because yeah. she sneaks into her daughter's phone and she took a picture of the phone. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's what the daughter said. She says she's always looking at my phone. And she took a picture of my phone with those pictures on it and put the pictures on her phone. So did she, she did, did the daughter, did the, the daughter take the pictures? Yeah, of herself, but never of, gave them to of anybody. Herself. Yeah, yeah. Wait, damn, just, I don't take pictures of myself. <laughs> well, well, but women, I'm girls, I'll tell you girl, young girls do all the time. I, I'm telling you, if you're, <laughs> what? well, look, wait a minute. Hold really on a second. Hold really. on a second. I just know it. I just don't ask. <laughs> I've never had a woman. The first thing when 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 when, when 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 camcorders came out originally, the first thing you shot was your cat. And the second thing you shot was you and your girlfriend fucking. With the cat in the room. And with the cat, yeah. Yeah, in the room. Did I ever tell you I had I, at one point I had five cats. <clears throat> You had five cats. Yeah, and, and one night I had the, I had this orders? woman over what to my, uh, I had this woman over to my house, and we got romantic and stuff, and we started fucking. And as I'm fucking, I look up, and across the top of the bed, across the pillows, are all five cats watching us. <laughs> yep. And like one's holding up a ten, <laughs> you know? and another one's going. <laughs> you know? Zero. And of course, we had this one female cat who was always very judgmental, giving me a look like, you know. Actually, the pen was up. But they down. were all there watching. And then I had one cat who every now. It wasn't a dog. They jump in the middle of it. Well, I had yeah. one of the cats used to like that when Not I was like having sex. Used there, used to Charlie. like to get on my back. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That uh, was the first incident of cat PTSD. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Charlie, Charlie seems to know a lot about dogs. Mm. We, we've had room. lots of dogs, cats too. That's how come I know the difference. Yeah. You gotta shut the dogs out of the room because they will jump up and they want to get involved. Absolutely. Well, I, what happened was, uh, I um, okay. So my ex-wife uh, and I were having sex. And she started, because she was a screamer, screaming. And my male cat, Shabbos, who was my favorite cat, thought maybe she was attacking me or something. He bit her in the ass. <laughs> you know, so. By so. the way, my uh, condolences on uh, Ronnie's passing. Thought it was a good time to mention that. Right? Yeah, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like four months ago. Yeah, I what I I'm, I got a lot to catch up on. What I'm kind of disappointed about with uh, with Ronnie dying is that she's not here to see all that went on. You know. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. You know. But mm. we'll all miss something once we die. So what the hell? Nice lady. You know. I wish I were just. I wish you could have seen Trump lose. I wish I were a lot older. I, like uh, I wish I were never born yet, and that I still had it to come. And I could then see us living in space and doing things like that. But I don't know if we're going to last that long. Nope. I mean, this, the, you know, right. with COVID, there was a show I was watching, a medical show I was uh, watching, and, and uh, a guy goes back to see his son he hasn't seen in 20 years. And he says, the reason why I got in touch with you is, he says, you know, the COVID thing made you, made you start thinking about, you know, your life and, and the people you've missed and that you haven't had things to do with and so on. And, you know, and it's true, you know, that, that that what's happened to us because of COVID is changing the entire way we think and live and so on. 
And, and quite frankly, you know, I'm glad, knock on wood, I'm still alive. You know, this thing hasn't gotten me. But when I look at those statistics, what is it today? 325,000, Charlie, give or take? 425,000. 425,000. What did I say? 425,000. I mean, what? What a phenomenal amount! We there were less there were about this amount of people killed in World War II. Yep. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, this is how many? This is maybe uh, I don't know. Um, three uh, three thousand people died in the Twin Towers. How many died? So how many times the Twin Towers is this? I mean, it, it's just if you look <laughs> at it. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just an incredible amount. And, and, and they died for nothing because this president, not this one, but the, 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 the old president, did Biden not, ordered did, 200 vaccine doses. Did nothing Good about million. it. Huh? They did nothing about it. Yeah. You no know, no plan whatsoever. I mean, and, and you look at all that Biden has done in the first week that he's in office to try and do something. Yeah. And you wish that Trump would have just done half of that. Yeah. Exactly. You know, so, I mean, uh, uh, it's now a race to see how many doses we can get into people so that we can stop this dying, you know. And, and uh, but, I mean, I'm just pissed that, you know, that in, in this state, which I take great pride in and always thought we were so hip and we knew how to handle things, have handled the distribution of the a vaccine badly, just badly. And um, I, I, it pisses me off, you know, especially from a governor who I think up until now has acted beautifully. And now I hate him. <laughs> you know. Wait, I'll, now I'm OK. I'm behind the eight ball again. I always hear uh, Anthony, uh, Andrew Cuomo was great. He always great, gave these great speeches. Uh, mm -hmm. What what where did he drop the ball recently? He dropped the ball on, on the distribution of this stuff. Okay. You know, and, and the it's way in which he's doing it. not getting out. Yeah. I mean, they just, they, 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 they and they're, they're blaming, we don't have enough vaccine. Well, that's fine. If you know you're not going to have enough vaccine, don't make appointments for them. You know, right. things like Every that. Every state's done that. Well, I, you know, I get reports from California. Alan has had good reports. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Phil. You know, they just walk in, they get their shot, they leave, you know. Kevin, and they, and as they Kevin. leave, they're handed a piece of paper that says, here's your next appointment for your three or four week uh, shot. With me, I had to go online and one of the people there helped me with it and then forgot to tell me to push make appointment. So when I got home, I was now gone. I went from a uh, morning thing to a late afternoon on the 27th because that was the only date that was a, the closest date that was available. I mean, it, it's just. Ridiculous! They should have said, "Oh, you're the you're a second shot, so we have a different set of people being able to come in for that." It's just just terrible, just terrible, um, you know. And uh, I just realized something, Alex. Yeah. You and I are a lot more alike. We tell the same story over and over. Yeah. Well, I got nothing else to talk about in my life right now. Well, there, look, you know, I used to be able to to literally every morning go on the air and extemporaneously tell things that had happened in my life. Ray knows I did that. Brian mm -hmm. knows I did that. And that's because my life was full of things that I was doing. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what else is there to talk about but the fact that I had this one day that I went and got the shot and talk about that till hell freezes over. You talked about your cats and you talked mm -hmm. about you know, one of probably seven hundred women you fucked. You know, um, you know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Those are in. Hey, 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 hey. And the ratings. You, 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 kind you underestimate. of underestimate. Uh, no, you over. Yeah. No, you overestimate me. It was only like yeah, six. We don't trust. No. It was only like six hundred. You know? Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I heard that cat story like thirty-five years ago. I think. Did you really? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, yeah. I know I've heard it a lot. You, you know, what we used to do in radio is that we realize if you're doing a morning show, for instance, and you told a joke at 6 o'clock, you could retell that joke at 9 o'clock, and you wouldn't have the same audience that heard you tell it at 6 o'clock. Right. <laughs> Different people. So I figure that's the way it is here. You're the only one that heard it 20 years ago or 25 years ago. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Yes, Jeff. So Jeff. I just found out today yeah. that the area that I live in yeah. had a whole bunch of people had this English version of the divine. Oh, of the what? The the different uh, COVID from England. COVID. Oh, they got the they they got the the more English COVID version, area. whatever that means. Yeah, the Ernie Kovacs disease. Oh, oh COVID. Oh, COVID. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So COVID. I don't know why, and it's right here, and so I am now. I don't know what to do. It's supposedly not more. It's not more dangerous. You know, it's more easily, I don't know. Here's the thing I don't get. I, d I just don't get this 50% thing and this 95% thing. Like it says, I'm nine, I'm 50%, like I'm getting to a point where it's going to be a week uh, tomorrow, and then about four more, five more days, and then I've got 12 days. And at 12 days, they say you're 50% protected. Hmm. What does that mean exactly? 50, 50 chance of catching it. If, yeah. What, what do you mean? If, if I'm if, less susceptible. That's right. I'm less susceptible. Yeah. It's I just like it's hope. just like the it's just like the um the, the shingle shots. You know, you get your first one, mm -hmm. you're you're still susceptible and susceptible until you get your second one. Okay. And then you're much less but sort of but sort of. But yeah. But my question is, uh you know, then if I let's say I get it. Okay. Let's say the fifty percent comes up and I get it. Will it be less than it would be normally? Will yeah, I yeah. will the will severity be less? Because Probably. I have the Yeah, it'll be vaccine? less severe for you. Really? Probably yes. <clears throat> Probably. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, see them they don't they don't know that yet. Well That's you know what I hear, that. Alan, Alan, in all deference to you, what I hear all the time <clears throat> is what you just said. Well we don't exactly know yet. Well then, why the right. fuck did you release this thing if you don't know what it does? You don't even you don't even know if it works, you know. Yep. Brian, well, so, so you you were you, 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 they're, they're they're trying to rush stuff out to everybody, just like when we did tests. But these guys are doing it all the time. So yeah, well, I mean, hopefully it works, you know, and hopefully it's successful, and hopefully <laughs> we can wipe this thing out. But you know, next I, month. That's one, it works. one thing we haven't heard. That's one thing we really haven't heard is somebody said, "Oh, I had the vaccine, you know, three weeks ago, yeah. and now I have COVID." The Johnson and, and Johnson. Heard that. The, the Johnson. Heard that. Uh, Jeff, what about Hank Aaron? Jeff, you wanted to say something. <laughs> I, I think you, you have to understand that what we have today mm -hmm. is the preliminary approach. And six months from now or a year from now, yeah. it's going to be different. It's going to be better. Yeah. It's going to be high, uh, more performance, <clears throat> right? Uh, better drugs. It, maybe you won't have to have a stick anymore. You just take it in your mouth or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the way things said. change. Take it in the mouth, huh? Anyway, um, uh, it, 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 because. Yeah, what bothers me is they're ready to almost uh, approve the Johnson & Johnson, which I don't know what the... Emergency use only. What? Right. Emergency, Emergency use, use only. only. Yeah. Um, but Johnson & Johnson, uh, I think they apply that one. They just put a bandage on you. Uh, Johnson & Johnson joke. So it's it's uh, emergency uh, use authorization, actually. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that's going to be a one-shot deal. Now, yeah. what yeah. happens if I suddenly decide, well, I want the one shot. I don't want to go through. Can I go get the Johnson & Johnson now? Or am I, I stuck with having to get Moderna? Stuck with Moderna, Moderna for right Moderna. now. Really? Yeah. Well, I've heard you can get the uh, Moderna or the Pfizer. Yeah. The Either shot. one, you can interchange them. They suggest really? you don't. But if you, if you have to, under emergency conditions, that will work. Am I right, hey. Alan? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe, there we go. The big maybe. No, that's, yeah. that's the trouble. Here's the deal. What life you know, is a maybe. Ago, usually, vaccines take five or ten years to develop. Yeah. They, they, now science has got to the point where they can develop these uh, nRMAs or whatever the heck it's called a lot quicker. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they know from 
40 or 50 people, uh, 40 or 50,000 people that they vaccinated that, you know, that those people, most of those people didn't get sick. So they figure that the vaccine is doing its job. Um, they, they never tested mixing the Moderna and the Pfizer. Uh, and why would they, you know, what, because yeah. they would march it, but I don't know. And, you know, you talk about your 50% in two weeks and, and they talk about Moderna being 80% in three weeks. What they didn't check if Pfizer is, is that you get your second shot in three weeks, but how much it, how much protection do you have in three weeks? Oh, wait, wait a minute. It goes up to 80% in three weeks? On the, for, for Moderna? For Moderna? Yeah, that's, that's what they say. You, you know, because they're, 50, they're, they're just saying nothing but 50% on Moderna. They don't say that after three weeks it's... Well, well, they don't They don't know. With Moderna, they seem to know. You were talking about it a couple of weeks ago that it was 52 and, and 80. Yeah. So, and which, which you were correct. That's what they... That's what they know, but this is this is all kind of in a lab. Now they're injecting millions of people with it. I get it. Uh, We're yeah. lab rats. Yeah, that, that, of course. Absolutely. Well, not now, not now. Well, well, sort of. We are too. We don't. We don't really know what's going to happen long term. But but the the lab is is the phase three, and so now they're now they're injecting millions of people around the world, and hiccups are going to happen. You're going to get hic hiccups? But nobody, I don't know of anybody, there's been nobody in the news that's actually had both vaccines and got them to work <laughs> and, and then died from COVID. Yeah. No. Uh, although they're trying to say, oh, Hank Aaron. He was 86 mm -hmm. or something there. Yeah, he was 87. Yeah. That was a joke. I was just... Is that how he died of the COVID? I don't think. I don't know. No, Larry King oh, did. Larry King did. Oh. Larry, yeah, Larry King, King, died Larry King oh. had COVID, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but he didn't have the yeah. vaccine. So. Huh. Yeah. He's dead for the, the vaccine, whole hour. The, the vaccine seems to be working right now. We'll see how long. They don't know how long either because it's only been in people's bodies about nine months, the test subjects. Yeah. So, you know. And we don't know how, yeah, we don't know how long it lasts. For all we That's know, right. you get your second shot, it's good for about three weeks, and then you got to get another one, you know. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It, it, three to four weeks. So, but yeah. The, Time will tell. You well, know, I would but, like it to work because I want to feel that that three hour, that two two hours I spent in line was worth it. You know, there you go. I don't want to feel that I was simply jerking off by standing in that line. I, I think it. I think it works. I, I think the science shows that it works. How does it look to you, Brian, as you look out there and see what's happening? Do you think it's uh, all that's, uh, that's that's one thing I was worried about was either. You know, some conspiracies were going to start up saying that, oh, well, I had the vaccine and, and I had COVID and very sick. But I haven't heard any of that. Yet, so. are we? Well, I have. No, but I was worried about people lying about it, like yeah. conspiracy, you yeah. know. But yeah. I told I the story. Like I've that, told so. the story before, but Marjorie has a friend who um, uh, went in to get their vaccine, which they got, and they had, were sniffling a little bit. And they left, and a couple of days later, they tested positive for COVID. And they got the vaccine. Now, I, I, we haven't heard from them since, but, you know, it'd be interesting to see what happens, you know. It, it takes a few I, days. I, yeah. What, it what, takes yeah. a week or more before the vaccines. Yeah. It's in your body. Works. I went to get the shot, and they amputated my left leg by accident. It yeah. sucked. Two, yeah. two, it takes two weeks, <clears throat> just like most vaccines. Uh. I, I want to go back to, to Jeffrey for a minute. He well, He's concerned. Jeff, as long as you continue to social distance, wear a mask, yeah. and do what you're doing, this variant that your whole neighborhood's getting, it, 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 you know, it'll, you'll get the same protection that you've been doing. That's what science knows. That's what medicine knows. Yeah, I think you're right. And, and masks, masks are not perfect, but they make a big, big difference. Well, what so. they're saying also is that um, be sure you double mask. That's the new thing is double it, masking. It, it depends on the type of mask you have. Yeah, but it, it, what happens is uh, if you double mask with just the regular little masks and so on, uh, that's uh, the equivalent of an N95. It, it gives you, affords you a greater amount of protection. Okay. And and you know why not do it? You know it doesn't hurt. It's easy so to put. I have an N ninety five. When I go to Costco, I wear my N ninety five. I the trouble is I find them a little 
hard to wear. They kind of. Yes. I know they are, but I want to live. Everybody you see that uses the N95, like nurses who get off their shift, they've got like this, you know, ring around their face from it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, so, so the the mask that you're wearing, Alex, are the surgical masks, mm -hmm. and that's the one they're talking about doubling up on because there are only one or two thin layers. Mm -hmm. The people that wear the cotton masks. That, that have three layers of, of T-shirt grade cotton in them, mm -hmm. those work really great. Not as good as an N95, but most people can't wear an N95. I, I wouldn't be able to wear it. Well, also the, they, also the reason you don't care. want the public wearing them is because really those should be reserved for the health care workers. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Um, and, I bought mine during the fires five years ago. So, I don't feel so did I. I. I live in the Bay Area. So did I. A lot of people had those things for uh, for uh, just woodworking. And uh, I know, I think my uh, my Amy. super my super had one for some of the work they would do for dusting or whether they'd go into an apartment where they were working on the apartment and getting it, refurbishing it or whatever. So for years, uh, people who've been in construction and so on have used those. Sure. So they're quite used to it. But, um, you, also. you I know, I, I'll just be so happy when all this whole thing is over <laughs> and we can, we can get back to some kind of normalcy. But I don't think it's ever going to be normal. I think we have set up a whole new set of rules. I think that uh, we're going to find that uh, people are not going to necessarily go back uh, to work. They're probably going to keep working from home. Because yeah. offices are suddenly finding out that why should we pay for these big offices when everybody's working efficiently yep. from home? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Brian. so we're in uh, Silicon Valley, our company, and uh, Google bought up all the land around there. <clears throat> so what they did was about five, maybe seven years ago, they rezoned all the area near two thirty seven and one hundred one. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys, some of you would know what that is. So they rezoned that area. That's all like old PC board manufacturing, one level, big companies. So what Google did was they bought up all this land and they've been going and giving people their dates. So we had dates on ours because ours is now owned by Google. Mm -hmm. So they're still down probably by another block or two where they're, they just fenced off that company and they kicked them out and they're about ready to reload that one. And uh, they actually, what I heard a rumor was that they actually told us that, well, no, you guys can stay as long as you want now. So I think Google's stopping oh. building their their yeah. facility now. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess uh, Apple's a little sorry that they built that place down there, the, the big flying the saucer. Hey, listen, yeah. there's our there's our theme. That thing's awesome. Uh, yeah. uh, I'd love to see it someday. Oh, it's great. Uh, yeah, I bet our numbers are picking up. The yeah. listeners. Yeah. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeffrey, thank you so much, Jeff. Thank, thank you, you Alan. Always a pleasure to have you on. Trucker Steve, you're always a delight to have here. Brian, uh, it wouldn't be the same show without you. Charlie, uh, what can I say? Uh, and 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 Mr. Uh, uh, Meyer, uh, yes. Dan Meyer, uh, yes. you know, it might be good if you called a little more often. Yes, I, I, I will be doing yeah. that. That's I promise yeah. 2021 get, will be uh, uh, resurgence. Oh, okay. Uh, make sure we do, we see you before 2023 again. Yeah. Uh, John Larkin, thank you so much for being with us tonight. And uh, Ray Renati, good having yeah. you here too. I think you everybody betcha. should probably give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. And so long from here. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, just hang up on them here uh, so that I don't... Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, we're uh, we're out of here now, and uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's going to be here with the uh, the intersection for most of the same gabnet. I'll see you again. When is it? Oh yeah, tomorrow night, uh, ten to the nine thirty. By the way, or nine o'clock. I don't know when he's going on now. The sports show with the franchise MC, and then we'll see you at ten thirty Eastern uh, Standard Time. Uh, uh, with the more of the ramble. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, do yourself a favor. Wear a mask and be safe out there. Do yourself a favor. Bye. <laughs>